Hello everyone. In this session, we'll discuss steps to create JavaFX application. That means till now we had studied the architecture of JavaFX, then we had discussed the application structure of JavaFX application. Now we're we'll discussing how to create a JavaFX application. That means how to create a JavaFX program. So for that, we need to discuss the steps. The step starts with the first step is to create a scene graph with required nodes. The next is to create a scene with required dimension and add the scene graph to the scene. Third, we need to create a stage. We need to prepare a stage and the scene is added to this stage and we can display the content onto the stage. So starting with the first step that is prepare a scene graph. So as we discussed, the scene graph is a root node. So it is a first node which can be chosen as group can be region or can be web view. Let's see them in details. Starting with group. What is group? A group is represented by a class named group itself, which belongs to the package javafx.scene. So for creating a group, we require to import the package javafx.scene package and then we can create the group by simply initiating group. We need to create the object. So group that is class name, object name that is root is equals to new group. So group is created. This is the one way. Another is it is an it has an overloaded constructor. So another way is group class name root object name equals to new group and we need to pass the node object which we need, want to add to this particular group. So these are the two ways of creating the group. Over here in the first case this group will not be having any node object initiated to it whereas in this case the group node will contain a node object. So the second type of node can be a region. Now this region is consisting of three UI controls can be chart, can be pen or can be control. Now let's see one of one by one. This chart is nothing but what we say the bar chart or pie chart. This chart belongs to the package javafx.scene.chart package. So we need to embed this into our program, import it into our program and we can add this chart which is a part of region to the scene graph. Second type is pen. A pen is a base class. It is It creates layouts, different types of layout. Can be anchor pen, can be border pen, can be dialog pen, can be H box, can be V box, etc. Which we will be discussing into the later part because the pen we are supposed to discuss in detail in later part. So can be a type of pen. Now for using pen we require package javafx.scene.layout package. Now this is to be imported to use any of this pen. And this pen is basically one kind of container which holds other controls. And lastly, the region can be a control, can be a button bar, can be a choice box, can be a button, can be combo box base, can be HTML editor, anything. Now for using this control, we can have package javafx.scene.control package, which we need to import for using control. And the last is what we are having web view. Now for using web view, the node manages the web engine means to load any type of HTML content. We require web view and that is to be added into this particular web view. So this was the first step that means to prepare a scene graph. Now the next step is to prepare the scene. So let's prepare the scene. Now for preparing a scene we require a class named scene class. Now this scene class belongs to the package javafx.scene means we need to import javafx.scene package into our program and scene can be created. Now how to create a scene? Basically see, to create a scene we need to make an object of the scene class. So as you can see scene class name scene object name equals to new scene. There are three arguments to this scene. One is the root node that means what we had prepared scene graph scene graph would be containing one root node that root node is to be added to this scene along with width and height of the scene now out of this three root node is to be compulsorily passed to the constructor of this scene class whereas width and height are optional they are not compulsorily to be passed so over here the constructor says we can pass three parameters root node that is the scene graph width and height from which width and height are optional so over here to create a scene is very simple by creating an object of the scene class now the last step to prepare the stage 
how to prepare the stage to prepare the stage we need to add the scene to the stage class so we know that primary stage is created now with the stage belongs to the package javafx.stage so it is to be imported but in this case we would be adding the scene to the stage we need to suppose to make an object of the stage class because it is already been instantiated as an parameter passed to the start method so over here this can be performed like this there are various operations which can be performed onto the stage like stage needs to set the title so primary stage which is passed as an object argument to the start method we need to use that only in primary stage we are using so we can set the title next we can attach the scene that means we are knowing scene graph added to stage scene graph added to scene and scene is to be added to stage so primary stage dot set scene and passing the scene object sets the scene for this particular stage and we know that one stage contains one scene it's very simple so after that if you want to display the content of this scene we need to use the method show so the stage object that is primary stage dot show this is what is the simple steps to be followed starting with preparing the scene graph then preparing the scene and lastly preparing the stage these are the steps now let us see them in real time application let's create one scene a empty screen so let's see a program for that so for that we require the package javafx.application.application it is a class this application is a class which is to be extended in any of the javafx application so javafx.application.application class is required then the group is required which belongs to javafx.scene package then scene is required which again belongs to javafx.scene then we require we want to set the color we want to set the color so for that we require javafx.scene.paint.color class and for stage we require javafx.stage and let us start with a program so we are creating a program by making a class so it's very simple public class we can give any of the class name over here it is javafx sample which extends application now th this is important we need to extend this application class in any of the javafx application and this class is belonging to the package javafx.application package so after doing this we would be overriding one method of application class named as start method so what we need to write at the rate override that means it says it's an annotation it says that we are overriding one method of this application class and the name of that method is start so public void start as we had already discussed start method requires one argument that is a stage stage argument so type stage and the name of the reference of the stage is primary stage you can give any name over here now we this method start throws an exception so we need to write throws an exception because because it is being overrided so in its original definition throw exception is written so we need to write throws exception now in this method what are our steps we need to create scene graph so scene graph can be of three types group region or can be a web view so we still create a group so how to create a group group root equals to new group so group is a class root is the object of this class equals to new group we can give any of the object any name to this object but we are here giving the root so root is created after creating the root what is the next step that means our scene graph is created so next step is to add this scene graph that is root to our scene so for that we need to create a scene 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 equals to new scene root is passed as an argument to the constructor along with the height and width that means 600 is width and 300 is the height of this particular scene after that we have already created a stage primary stage because after creating the scene we need to add this scene to the stage but before that we are painting this scene that means we are adding color to this scene so for that we need to use one method set field it's a built in method so scene dot set field and we need to provide the color which color we want to set to this particular 
scene so color dot brown these are built-in colors you can set any of the built-in colors black blue brown white orange anything so this is what is scene dot set field now we need to set the title of the stage now basic operations which perform on the, the stage that is setting the title so sample application is passed as an argument to set the title then we would be adding the scene to this stage so primary stage dot set scene and scene is passed as an argument that means what scene we created over here is to be added to this argument to this method set scene and the scene is set to the stage so we have completed three steps one to create the scene graph by creating the group uh, root node then this root node is added to the scene so second step over and then this scene is added to the primary stage that means the stage stage class so the by using method set scene the third step is also over now the last step remaining is to display the content of this scene by using primary stage method named as show method so primary stage dot show this displays the scene onto the output so this completes our start method now the question arises: how to launch this start method how to call this start method so for that we write our public static void main there is one method named as launch method launch method is the method of application class which in turn internally calls the start method of this application class so we need to call the method launch instead of start this launch method requires one argument that is array of string that means it requires the string array which is to be passed to this launch method and in turn it is calling the start method so simply this completes our program so public static void main is over and class is over so this is actually a program which creates a basic empty screen with the color brown which is set as in background color to this particular scene okay now let's see the output of this program so i'm running this program so you can see the sample application so over here as we had set the stage title to be sample application so we are seeing the sample application we had set the scene color to be brown so this is a background color to be brown of the scene and we had set the size of the screen scene to be 600 by 300 so width is 600 and height is 300 so this is the basic java fx application thank you we'll be discussing more in the next session